So what's the difference between balanced and unbalanced audio cables? This is uh, an important difference to take note of if you're going to be working with recording audio. And essentially, the balanced cable has three conductors or three individual wires within its outer jacket and provides a potentially cleaner audio signal. And so here we have a balanced audio cable because we've got three conductors within the inside there. Now with the unbalanced audio cable, this one only has two conductors or wires, two wires within its outer jacket. And these cables are more prone to interference, particularly with longer cables. This interference can be electromagnetic interference or radio. If you've ex ever experienced hearing a local radio station kind of faintly coming through your speakers when you aren't playing any audio yourself, this is an example of interference and it's often due to unbalanced cables. Unbalanced cables are usually going to be used more with consumer devices like uh, DVD players, CD players, but I guess no one really uses CD players anymore. Um, yeah, some Blu-ray players, although a lot of those, you know, more than using the RCA cables, these two conductor cables, it'd be best to use something like a optical cable. Now why are the balanced cables cleaner? Um, it's the third conductor that makes the difference. So um, actually let's go ahead here and take a look at this. Now when you are using a balanced cable the audio signal is transmitted at the source so say the main outputs on your audio device the XLR outputs or they could be TRS outputs the quarter inch jack so the audio signal gets sent out on both the two of these wires, a positive and negative wire, but the voltage in the negative wire is inverted. So they're essentially 180 degrees out of phase on the signal for the positive and negative wires. So then if any outside interference or noise happens to get picked up along the way, along these wires, it will be identical on both wires. But when your balanced cable reaches its destination, say you've got it plugged into the back of your studio monitors, the negative signal is going to be inverted and flip back around making both the positive and negative the same again and any noise will then be cancelled out. And of course this is kind of an oversimplification but this is essentially the difference between balanced and unbalanced. That third wire really helps to alleviate any um, noise and interference issues. Not to say that you still can't have any, but it's just a much higher quality cable as far as that's concerned. So in our image here, the straight line is the ground and uh, what we see as pin 2 and pin, pin 3, these are the hot and cold wires and that the wave there is our audio signal and you can see that it's inverted, they're out of phase. So sent out from the source and then once it gets back once it gets once it arrives at the destination these will then be flipped or one will be and so that that's what will cancel out any noise that may have been picked up in our next image here I'm sure you could probably recognize these uh, jacks to the left in the upper left hand corner we've got an unbalanced TS jack uh, tip and sleeve so the tip carries the audio signal and the ground is going to be, or the sleeve will be our ground or shield. So this is an unbalanced quarter inch adapter. Um, and to the right of that, this is our TRS jack. Now the tip is going to be the hot or positive. The ring is the cold or negative or return. There are several different names that you may hear when people are referring to these and of course the sleeve is the ground and the shield and below uh, these two quarter inch jacks we can see these are the pins for the XLR balanced XLR cables and how the cables are designated in relation to the pins so one would be the ground or shield two is the hot or positive and three is the cold or negative or return. 
And here we have our balanced XLR cable or mic cable. And we can see we've got, it's got both a male connector and female connector. The female in is what you're typically going to be plugging into the microphone. And here we have a TRS, tip ring sleeve, or a balanced quarter inch cable. You can see that just as with the past image we saw the, the tip, the ring and the sleeve, these are separated by those black dividers. So this is a balanced cable. And here we can see that this still has the tip ring and sleeve with the two dividers, the two spacers. But this is not actually, it wouldn't technically be considered a balanced cable. This would be more of a mini cable, a stereo cable for, whereas the tip and the ring would carry the hot and the cold or the, or the signal in return. This is going to carry, this particular cable will carry left and right channels and then the ground. So this is something that you could say plug into your iPhone and then if you had some sort of amplifier that took a mini jack or even if it took a quarter inch jack you could put a mini to quarter inch adapter on there and plug that into the stereo. Typically most stereos have an RCA connection at least for consumer stereos. This typically would not be used in a situation as a TRS balanced cable. Now here we have unbalanced RCA cable. So this would have two conductors and you typically want to avoid these cables when you're working with professional audio because these are the cables that are prone to picking up interference especially if you're going to use longer versions of these cables. Uh, I'd really recommend not going above 15 feet if you're going to use these really but above 12 I think they they usually come in varieties of 3 foot 6 12 25 and 50 so I think 12 would be a maximum that I'd really use if you have to use cables like this in a recording environment for whatever reason I remember recording someone at one point uh, she had brought over a keyboard and for some reason I I think I either didn't have quarter inch cables, but we had to hook it up with these RCA, using her RCA outs on that keyboard. And it ended up working out fine. We didn't get any interference, but definitely if you have the option, do not use these when you're recording audio. And here we have unbalanced, an unbalanced quarter uh, inch check cable. So this is a two conductor again with a tip and a sleeve. The tip would be the signal and the sleeve would be the ground. And here we've got an unbalanced cable, a combination of RCA and the mini jack. So this is going to, you see we still have the tip ring sleeve configuration on the jack with the two spacers. But again in this situation with the mini jack, it's going to carry left and right audio and then ground. And on the other end, we have our RCA jacks, and I didn't mention uh, in the previous image of the RCA jacks that usually the red is right, right, right channel, and the white is left. I just always remember red is right because they both begin with R, but typically the equipment that you're going to be using is going to be color-coded and say specifically which channel it needs to go to anyway. And so I think we'll just go ahead and stop here. I hope you have a better understanding of the difference between balanced and unbalanced cables and the different types uh, that you can use. So thanks for watching and take care.